here at the Kahala Hotel and Resort. It's Island Harvest, and we're featuring uh, the cuisine of the islands, um, local artisan, local food, and today I have Daniel Anthony with me, and he's going to be pounding palo, and he wants, um, just want to ask him about it a little bit. Daniel, hi, aloha. Aloha, Dante. Right, it's great to see you. Pleasure. Again, this is great. Another great event, and we're together again. So tell me, you've got the kalo, and it's sort of what, raw state right now? What we're going to do, what we wanted to show, is the, some of the final inspections that we do on the taro. Okay. And so really, one of the most important things, if you're going to hand pound taro, is you really want to take the taro down to the essence. And when I say essence, of course, you want to scrape off all of the skin, which we've done first. And then what I'm doing is I'm fine cleaning it. I'm coming through and I'm taking off all of the little tiny particles that would be visible in the finished poi. I then take it and I slice it in half. Okay. And really what this does is this exposes the entire inside of the taro. Wow, look at and that. And that's what you're huh? looking for. You're looking for starch. As you can see, <laughs> you the can starch see is actually converting to a sugar at the very end. Here, this would be a, a, a signification of it starting to overripe. I see. We can I tell see. and look at the color of the taro. The color is located on the outside, while the inside is usually very white. So that's indication yeah. of high starch content. I see. The starch will convert into a sugar. Into, and that would rise to the top of the that would That would actually eventually, the entire thing, taro would change color. Where's the taro from? Um, tonight, the taro is from Waihe'e on the island of Oahu. And wow. one of the farmers from Mahi'ai Produce uh, laboriously worked, and um, as we can see in the poi tonight, the taro is absolutely fabulous. Wow, I'm excited. I can't wait. Thank you. It's an honor to have you here. Okay, you've heard from Daniel Anthony. Now let's talk to the man who really makes it happen, Chef Wayne of the Kahala Hotel and Resort. On our seafood buffet, I like to try and feature um, I guess basically what's ever what's available seasonally, but also we also um, try to bring out what's also available around the world, uh, what's in season. For example, we've got like king crab legs, um, uh, Pacific oysters from the Northeast. Um, also the, the sashimi and sushi that we use is also the hamachi from Japan. Of course, the ahi we have to bring in fresh locally from the auction. Fruits and vegetables, um, so much available from the Big Island, from Molokai, from Kauai. We've got Kauai prawns also we brought in for this event. And of course, don't forget the fresh poi that was pounded. Please come and join us again at the Kahala. Um, we have this, we feature our special buffets uh, once a month. And next month, we're going to be doing the same thing. Island sashimi, uh, king crab legs, uh, roast pork, uh, prime rib of beef. Um, I don't know what's going to be on the menu, but we'll have something special for you next month. Hope to see you. I don't know about you, but this food looks incredible. I'm just going to get myself a plate and enjoy the, uh, the remainder of the night. So thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. Aloha.